Q&A, our first Q&A. Número uno. uno. Say hola. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, we've been asked a lot of questions on our YouTube channel, on Twitter especially, and yeah. So, I've decided, we decided collectively, to answer a lot of these questions <laughs> for you guys. So, we're not asked over and over and over and repeating yourselves over and over and over. And she's gonna be a distraction. So let's start. Question number one with Zacky Boy Gaming. He actually made me want to do this. But yeah. Anyway, what inspired you to do YouTube? What inspired you to do YouTube? No, um, I didn't. Not inspired to do YouTube. He was not into the YouTube thing. Actually, I decided to do the YouTube thing because growing up. I was always going with the camera and taking pictures and recording everything and being in my family's face. And then I didn't know that was vlogging. I didn't know that was a thing people did. I didn't know about YouTube. I found out about YouTube really about because of Boy Toy. And we would watch these <laughs> vlogs. And I'm like, we're funny. I think we're so good. Like, there are always times that we do something and I'm like, oh my god, we have to tell so and so. But it wouldn't be as funny because when you. That, you know, you tell somebody a story, it's not as funny than as when you see it. So, yeah. I think it's a bunch of things. And these are like family, fi uh, what is it? Family footage. Home movies? Home movies. See, I die. I still got sunburn. <laughs> yeah, fa wait, what is it? Home movies. <laughs> these are home movies for us, the YouTube. Like, it's for us also when we grow up and we just like sharing it. So, yeah. In 30 years, YouTube will still be rocking. Woo woo! It will. Okay. Better. <laughs> um, if you had one superpower, this is also from Zaki Boy Gaming. If you had one superpower, what would it be? My superpower would be. <gasps> you know what I always wished? Okay. I love clothes. I don't need makeup, child. Thank you. I love clothes, so I always wish that. Say I like this shirt. That this lady is wearing. All I would have to do is go up to her, tap, and it just appeared in my closet. Wouldn't that be a cool superpower? That's not saving the world. Oh, that would be a good answer, wouldn't it? Yeah, something that could save the world called okay. superpower. Not super <laughs> selfish power. <laughs> oh, so I want to save the world. Like my closet. Great. <laughs> what would be your superpower? My superpower would be super speed. Oh, that'd be cool. Because when I get everything done, it's have me time. And just have you time? Just have me time. That would be good. Just like a flash. If you were invisible for one day, what would you do? Hi. Ha, ah, get it? <laughs> if I were invisible, what would I do? I would play pranks on everybody. Like, I follow you to work and make you trip every, like, 20 seconds, scare my mom. She's at the red clock. 19. <laughs> 20. Trip? You can't see my foot. Scare my nieces, close nieces. doors on people, in people's faces. Like, that would be so funny. Okay. Weirdo. <laughs> Moving along. Charmy Kitty 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 asks, If you get more famous, will you still talk to me or us subscribers like Emily Stout and others? Of course they would. You wouldn't? I, I'm going to give a realistic answer. The more famous you get, the less time you really have. But I would remember them. Like, of course, there would, always, there, would, there would be a place to be remembered. Yeah, like I would always make sure like I talk to you guys on you know, the private messages and stuff like that. I'm not going to stop following you guys. But yeah, I want to keep the relationships I have with you guys. Like I, I strive to have relationships with you guys. I really do enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, I think I really would stay in touch with you guys. Bully. I don't, I don't. Oh, but yeah, yeah it's going to be very yeah. difficult if we get a lot more subscribers. Mama. It's going to be extremely difficult because I would be bombarded with emails and, and, and tweets and all this stuff. So, I apologize in advance just in case that's the case. But I will still talk to you, hopefully. I love you. <laughs> if I went to New York, would you do a meetup or we we meet somewhere? I am dying to do a meetup. I just don't have anybody that think that wants to meet me in New York. Like, you know, like two, two subscribers, two amigos from New York. So I don't want to be embarrassed. 
I think I'm gonna wait till we get a lot more subscribers to do a meetup because that'd be kind of embarrassing. Like, hey, I'm gonna do a meetup in Times Square and then like, to show up. Or more toy. More, oh, more central. It's more uh, personal. That would be nice. Hey, I'm going shopping. If you guys want to follow me and talk girl stuff, meet me at Forever 21 in Times Square. Aw, that would be cute. Maybe I'm, as I'm getting makeup. <laughs> Maybe makeup! <laughs> Maybe at the end of the year or, or beginning or something. We'll see. Miss Steph Diaz is marriage in the future! I don't tell time. <laughs> I don't predict the future. What are your thoughts on marriage in general? Well, let me tell you something, okay? Because this guy tries to act like he does not want to get married. He doesn't like marriage and stuff. Since we got together, well, when I proposed to you, we're getting married within a year. I'm like, what? No, we're not. I'm like, I don't want to get married. He's like, well, I want to get married. I'm like, I want a long, long, long engagement. I don't really believe in marriage. Like, I've written a blog post about this. Like, it's just really... <laughs> See a ring, they're like, oh, okay, she's committed. You know, that's what that's what I want. It's the paper. It's just the paper. She's a liar. I want the wedding and the party. That's all I want. I just don't want the law saying you guys are married. Cause once they say that, like this guy's probably gonna have think that he has ownership over me, and I don't like that. It's scary. But we want to have the ceremony before our parents go <sighs> forever. <laughs> that's horrible. Well, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to live forever. Yeah, my mom might live forever. Death, 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 huh? Death to do us part. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's that. Do you two believe that being together as opposed to being married will still have a long-lasting relationship? No. Really? Yep. R really? Mm -hmm. You think you have to get married to have a long-lasting relationship? No, but I think it's, it's easier to leave a, a relationship like this than it is to leave a marriage. I agree with that, but I think that now that we have a kid, it's not like, okay, I break up, I'm going to I'm going to live with my boys now. No, you have to you, this is a family. It's yeah, I think it's still as hard for you to leave even if you're married or not. But then you still have something in account. It's there's lawyers, there's you taking time. what, the money that's involved. Yeah, it's a lot easier than right now I could leave and I don't care about this place and I'm not going to lose anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's your thoughts too, huh? <laughs> I had her at 21. Duh. Jacob's trying to trick me. I was 26. Do the math. How are you going to do the math? I don't even know anything. Emily? 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 Shut your mouth. Forever 21. She's Luis. Emily Stout has like a million questions. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Emily doesn't talk. Because I'm going to New York in like two or three years when I get to meet you. Emily, I love you. I would love to meet you. I definitely want to meet you. So, I'm saying yes. We'll be in London before, as Betsy would say, we'll be in London before then. <laughs> Even though Emily lives in, in Liverpool. No. <laughs> uh, I would love to see Liverpool, to be honest with you, because that's where my, the Beatles, my favorite. But back out of that, it's where my family ported from. <gasps> yeah. It was that. What's the best chips you have tasted and what's in the bag so far? I don't know what chips, um, but I know the brand. Premises are my absolute favorite. Like, I really like the Premises, if you guys remember what those were. And if you don't, that means you don't watch my vlog, then you should watch them again. <laughs> Sorry, it was the baby was getting close to the equipment. Oh, gosh. And she's going to that. She's going to fall off. My favorite would be the, the Kettle brand salt mix. Oh, vinegar. No. With the maple bacon! Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. So good. Maple bacon. Maple bacon was good. Kettle corn, guys. Chip, chip. Get, oh, get it. Oh, my gosh. Cut! Say action! I'm done. Thank you. You lost the guest. 
of honor. Anyways, so yeah. Would you ever travel to England in the future? Yes. You've already answered that, yes. yes. Boy Toy, when did you start playing the piano? I believe I was eight, nine years old, eight or nine years old, one of my sister's ex-boyfriends used to play the piano and sing to her, and I learned so unorthodox, it's, I don't know how to read sheet music correctly, very well, but I do not play it. We will, I see your comment, I, I will, will I will play, me? I will play. One day. I don't have a physical piano here, and unfortunately, this person destroyed my computer. Lie. No lies. It turned it into my computer, into her computer, and... No. Destroyed. Destroyed! <laughs> Destroyed! Okay. Okay. That's okay. This question is for Ziana. Can you tell me some numbers? Five! The a one? I go. How old two. are you? Zizi, how old are you? Two. How old? Two. Yeah, that's <laughs> two in our language. <laughs> Destiny Lopez asks, where do you see yourself in one or two years? I would love to see myself acting. I want to be on a comedy show like The Mindy Project or Sullivan's Son. Like, I would be happy with that. So I see myself acting definitely like in a show. Um, and I see my vlog really having a lot of more subscribers and yeah, my two million. Okay, that's exaggerating, not two million, but a lot more. And... Yeah, traveling, I guess, more. Having by then two, hmm, two years. At least one more. Yeah, maybe another kid. Well, somebody asked if they got like five years, so I would say by then three kids. <laughs> yeah. Ziana! Wait, geez. wait, stay here. What is your favorite color? Que color is your favorite? Viga pink. Poop. Bagama. 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 Crayola copyrighted. Done. <laughs> you have macaroni and cheese. We got Bagama. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Akeke. Akeke. Do you guys know what that is? What color is mixed in those ones? <laughs> Apple Jacks? What else are in there? No. No, not Apple Jacks? Bagama. Oh, they're Bagama. Okay. <laughs> Copyrighted. Next question. Sahana Ram Rakihani. Ram Rakihani. Ram Rakihani. Butcher. <laughs> what, is, what makeup products do you use on an everyday basis? Okay, it's gonna seem like a lot, but it's really not a lot. Foundation, blush, mineral powder to give it a little shine, concealer sometimes. Eyebrow stuff, eyebrow, eyebrow, eyeshadow stuff. Yeah. Um, lipstick and mascara. Oh, and eyeliner. So yeah, those are like oh. the everyday products. Mikey Miranda, what was your guys' first thoughts about each other when you guys first met? I wouldn't have first thought because we, we had been speaking so much. What do you mean? You didn't think, oh, she's hot. No, I already knew what you looked like. I've already interacted with you. Like, when we first met. Like on Tango? Or I think in person. Face. In person. I didn't have an impression. I already knew what she looked like. I already knew what she acted like. I mean, I liked her perfume. Okay. But that was it. I really had no intentions in general but to be with her for a Hit it and, and quit it. That's what he thought. Hit it and quit it. I honestly was not attracted to him. I liked him. He really won me over with his personality. Like, I'm like, okay, he's nice. He's really nice and he's career oriented and he has a lot of goals. He was super sweet. He was always there for me when I needed him. So, over time, that's how I started getting attracted to him. But from the beginning, I wanted him to be like my gay friends. Yeah. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Wasn't well, gonna happen. Did you guys click right away and did it take some time? <laughs> I think I'm still waiting. <laughs> Shut up! Not 
place for the most part right away. Well, a lot of you guys don't know, we met on MySpace. That was a social media um, site back when I was 21, and I'm still 21 years old. But yeah, <laughs> it was like that kind of relationship where I was like, hey, happy holidays, nice to meet you, okay, bye. Oh, happy Halloween, okay, bye. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day, okay, bye. Like, that was the kind of relationship we had. Then he found me on Twitter, because somebody had tweeted me. And then we exchanged numbers. <laughs> so we built the question was, did we click? But we did click. Like, we kind of clicked over the phone and stuff like that, like this instantly. And then when we finally met, it was like, we clicked. Like, the, we were very connected. We and, already had a, 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 a friendship. We had a, a communication, a lot of communication already established. So once we finally met, like, what, four, how many years later? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so when we met months later, years later, whatever, like we connected instantly because we already had built that relationship, built that relationship prior to it. So yeah, Morgan Miser, who inspired you to act? Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. I grew up loving Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen, and they did like these detective DVD videos. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to be a detective just like them. So which is why I went to John Jay to be, you know, do criminal justice. So. Thank you, Mary Kane Ashley Olsen, for ruining my life. <laughs> False hopes and dreams. Basically. What is the song stuck in your head at the moment? I guess the Frozen song we've been singing it since yesterday. Let it go. I mean, why wouldn't I have an amazing singing voice? It's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn. The cold didn't bother me anyways. You can't see her, but she's in there somewhere. Just What's the song stuck in your head? I don't know, probably some, just a dance melody. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Marlene, why did you start vlogging? I answered that question in the beginning. Rewind. I made her. I made her. I said you're vlogging. That's it. Do you like vlogging? Hey. I absolutely love vlogging. Hey. He was actually like, hey. he thought I was gonna quit hey. after a while. I remember you saying that to it's me. It's a lot of work. Hey. Yeah. And I'm like, and I was starting to get scared. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna stop vlogging. But I never did. Oh, I hate editing. Why do I have to edit? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Can you help me? Help me. Help. I, I just seen it. It's okay. I'll support you. I'll support you. <laughs> I figured you were a self destruct. But no, now she's doing good. She does all her own editing. Fast. He was like amazed at how I was editing really fast. Everyone is. Everyone really is. Anyone that knows her. I'm oh, surprised yeah. Surprised do everything. Oh, yeah. All your friends are like, wow, she does everything? I'm like, yeah. Jeez. Do you have a second name? I don't have a second name, and I always was sad about that because everyone around me had a second name, and my mom just named me Betsy. But my confirmation middle name is Elizabeth, just like my sister. Yes, I have a sister. What's your middle name? Matthew. Matthew. Ooh. Uh, what is Boy Toy's real name? Mini. 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 Mini's his real name. No, his real name Minnie. is um Andrew. Minnie. Andrew. Minnie. Mana. Christensen. Mana. Christensen. Mana. Mana. No, my Mana. real name is Mana. Boy Toy. Mana. Mana. No, it's it's Bobby. Mana. I'm not afraid of it. She just. No, it's not. Mana. From the beginning, she just. I didn't want to be the vlog, so it was just boy toy. Boy toy. Yeah. I was, he wasn't gonna be yeah. in it, so I just gave him a name, boy toy. Could you imagine how boring these vlogs would be without me? Please, just imagine him not in it. It'd be so much better. Oh, exactly. You wouldn't see all this. <laughs> just hanging out. Um, his real name is Robert. Okay. It's Bobby. I don't go by Robert though. But that's your name. Thank you. <laughs> is your hair straight or curly? It's a mess. Ha! Ah! Your hair's a mess? Your hair's. Mine's straight. Sarah Surigao. Surigao? That would put your name. <laughs> right? Sarah Surigao. Goals for the next five years. I kind of answered that. I see myself. I want to see myself in a sitcom, comedy sitcom like Mindy Project or Sullivan and Son. And traveling a lot more and having by that time hopefully three, four kids. Are her plan to be divorced? 
Somewhere on an island, long, long, long off the shore. So <laughs> one thing you want to do this summer, one thing just for you. Just for you. Just for you. That's how you would say You! I really don't know. I really like being around him and Buddha Belly all the time. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I really, he always tells me, go out, do your own thing. And I'm like, no, I want to be with you guys. Like, I don't know. I'm really dependent on them. Like, if life is boring without them, like, I can't do this by myself. <laughs> Shut up. Um, but I guess by myself, sleep? Vacation that. <laughs> Get away is that? I don't know. Right? That's what it is. Get summer, away? what do you want to do this summer? Oh, do something by yourself. Go. Maybe a spa by myself. There you go. Congratulations. I want to do a spa with you because it would be nice to share that experience with you. I'm sorry I love you! <laughs> I really don't know. It's a hard question. I know what I want to do without you. What? I'm... I just want to go. I don't. I don't know. You want to be with me? No, I just say seven, Sue, honey. I just say that, but <laughs> you just crashed though. Moving on. What? What? What has in your purse? You should do a little. What's in your bag? Purse tag in your vlogs. That sounds a little bit creepy. Um, the must haves in my purse: extra underwear, an extra pair of set of clothes. She's got a bathroom problem. <laughs> and wipes. For Ziana, not for me. <laughs> oh, lipstick. I have a bunch of... Oh! Don't rip that! We owe the, we owe the library now. Pause. No! Chloe! Would you like your... What? Would you like your next video to be a boy or a girl? One, two, three. Boy. boy. <laughs> what would Deanna be called if she was a boy? Oh. Well, we well, can't... I don't... Well, we know what our next child will be called. I don't remember what her name would have been if it wasn't I Nico. What was it? Oh yeah, can't tell you. Can't. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's a real, as an actual name. Yeah, but they don't know that. Well, why? We can tell them why. It would have been Trey. Yeah, T R E. Like Trace, because her birthday's on the third and mine's on the third. Yeah, so it was a little cute thing between us. But I don't think that's what we're gonna call our son at all. I don't think so. Yeah, it was just an idea. But yeah, that it would have been Trey. Trey, do we think of a middle name? No. Oh, just Trey. Whatever. <laughs> would have been another Betsy. Just a Betsy. <laughs> um, why did you choose the name Ziana? I did not pick this name. He made up with. He made up with it. He made it up. So where did this name come from? I am sure you. It's probably an ex-girlfriend. Cause we were talking about like what we were talking about Diana's, Diana's, Ziana's, all these other. You weren't names. talking that with me. Diana would have never been in that. No, we were, like, we were talking about exotic names. Oh, A I yeah, I A N A's and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a really unique name, like nobody has. So he came up with Ziana. But yeah. people out there actually have that name Ziana. And we spelled it differently in the beginning. Oh my gosh, Ziana is you spelled it Z I A N A. In the baby journal that I have, we actually spelled it Z I A N N A. So we messed up our own child name. <laughs> All good. Woo -woo. What would you want your dream wedding to be like? Oh, in Madrid, over, over, just this. I already know where the place is. It's so beautiful. It's over, over a cliff. Oh, so over the water, over the ocean, the sea, whatever. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> he just knows somewhere in Madrid. A string, a string band courting us down the aisle, with a little bit of acoustic in the background. Just real, like real s small, not even crazy big. Just like maybe like 50 people of our closest friends and family. Oh well, yeah, I don't really have well, my I don't need like everybody there. Like all your other friends are irrelevant to me. Ah! Oh. You know the ones that come to the birthday party. I don't know, care about them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, Sophia, all them, her cousins, they yeah. don't need to be there. Well, what I want, I want, he, he writes music. So I want him to write me a song and then have John Legend sing it at my wedding. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> John Legend or Britney Spears, whichever. I'm good. It's the father that pays for the wedding of the bride. Whatever. But it's always been, I don't really care. She can play the entire wedding as long as I have the music. Because I, I, we know, we both know, we, I want a string quartet to bring us down the aisle and a DJ for the afterlife. But with a band scene, like I want to. 
He wants to like swing music and crap. That'd be dope. Great, but I need some of my rap music. And, and I some said of we my... have a DJ. Oh, they care my rap music? Rough Rider, yeah, what, what, and Ja Rule, and Jay Z, Jiggle Jiggle What. I don't care. Really? As long as I get my string quartet to raise the piano. <laughs> that sounds like, so awkward. Oh, Christopher music. And, and then, some booty dancing music. Hey. Uh, no. You gotta split it up. It's You gotta have something nice for dancing with our parents. And then have the craziness. Yeah! But you have to have that blended mix. It's, it has to be. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. As Yana's older, how will you deal with her attitude and the way she acts if it's unacceptable? <laughs> no, I don't know. I think she'd be on time off for the rest of her life. Because she's not pretty bad. <laughs> well, I think they're really asking this. When she gets older. Which, I don't know, I, I, I yeah. hope that what we instill in her today kind of sticks through. She's a Gemini, I won't. <laughs> I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We don't know yet, guys. We'll be vlogging still, so you'll see. <laughs> okay. Do you ever get days where you just don't want to vlog? Or, you, or do you ever get days where you just want a day where there's no vlogging? Every day. Really? I yeah. don't. Shut up. No. I love vlogging. There's never a day. Like, my thing is... Oh! Another camera! Hold on! I, I'll go to bed with the camera right there because I'm like, just in case I want to wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning, get the camera. Like, it's always there. It's always like, I want everything on, on film. There's, there are times that I just, I don't want a camera in my face. It's just... I love a camera in my face. I love, I love vlogging. I love it. I'm not editing too much. But I love vlogging. <laughs> but, I mean, there's just, it's... I mean, there's times when it's the editing part, it's just... Oh, there have been two times I know I've cried because I've stayed up till 5, 6 o'clock in the morning editing and it's just, it's a lot of work because I have to take care of everything that I wake up in the morning so it gets like, it's a lot of work. And she doesn't deal well when she doesn't sleep. Mm -hmm. Little baby. Little baby. Hey Carter! If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I'd say London. Because I just, I love London. Because <laughs> the Beatles. I think I would say Hawaii or LA. No, I think London, I like that because of the art scene and music scene is incredible. A lot of great actresses come out of there, a lot of great actors. Okay, so I'll move there too. We'll move together, babe. <laughs> it's a date! <laughs> if you had one day to live, what would you do? One day left and she'd sleep. That's how she'd spend it. The rest of her life she's gonna sleep, but she's gonna spend this one last day sleeping. I don't know. I don't know. I'm my question, why? I don't know. Why is there one day left? Yeah! Is there something I can prevent? Like, could I kayak across the world in one day? Is there a meteor gonna hit the earth? Is it a plague? Are we gonna die of viruses? What's gonna happen? Why, why are you one trying day? To kill us? Why are you trying to kill us? Why? Why one day? Listen, I can't give him a valid answer until I know why is there one day. So the world just can black out. Gosh. Why? You really have to think this thing. And you do, because if a meteor was going to hit, I'd want to protect my family. Oh my gosh. But if I'm going to die of illness, F it. I'm going to rock. I'm going to be a rock star with my pants off. <laughs> That's it. So I guess until then, I'm going to get an answer. Why? <laughs> Embarrassing moments. I don't know. I don't think I have one. Tripping in front of people? Like, I really don't know. I don't think I have one. Oh a my gosh, no, I just thought of one. Yeah. Most embarrassing moment. I've spoken about I've spoken about this before in my earlier vlogs. When I was like 10 years old or 12 years old, I don't remember, I was in summer camp. And there was this boy, so cute, mushroom haircut. Like, that was the thing back then, mushroom haircuts. It was so cute. Caucasian with blue eyes and blonde mushroom haircut. So cute. I had such a crush on him. One day, he decides, you know, I'm, I'm really a girl. He was really a freaking girl. I was so mad. I fell for a freaking girl. Who the heck gives their daughter a mushroom haircut? Do you guys know what a mushroom haircut is? It's like putting a bowl in your head and cutting your hair like 
the, the shape of a bowl. That's embarrassing. I was so I never. I'm embarrassed to be with you after that. <laughs> Why? Yeah. <laughs> Is it recording? What you leaving me? <laughs> you leaving me? Me? Hey. Guess I'll finish this, this segment off. <laughs> we'll discuss our terms of living. <laughs> I never spoke to that person again. Anyways, moving on. Wait, oh, you don't have one? I really don't have a embarrassing moment. I don't believe so. I can't think. Most of it. favorite film, book, or song. My favorite film is The Count of Monte Cristo. Book is Zane books. Zane is a, he's a yeah, love writer. It's a it's a naughty erotica writer. <laughs> Sorry, that's the only book I can read from from front cover to back cover. So I should read some to you guys. No. <laughs> And my favorite song. Any Britney Spears song? I don't know. Hit me, make me one more time. No. Give me, give me, give me, give me. It That's song. not how it really goes, though. It probably sounds like, give me, give me more. Shut up. You're so mean to my Brit Brit. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Favorite book, The Alchemist. Great tale. Great tale. It just inspires you. Film. Favorite film. Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, baby! One film, not a three. No! You have to. Okay, Back to the Future 2. Aww. That's like treating your children on the top. <laughs> really? Because you said it that quick! Stop. <laughs> Favorite song would be Let It Be by Beatles. Let it be. That's like, <laughs> That's like Frozen. <laughs> it's the Beatles. Oh, the Freedles! <laughs> this is a good question. Okay, what are your thoughts on the death penalty? My thoughts. I love the death penalty. I think the death penalty should be, sh should be faster for people. Like, I know there's a whole, um, well, sometimes the DNA is wrong, or, the, you know, DNA was swapped, and evidence can be altered, and this and that. But for instance, if a mother kills her child, hello, death penalty right away, and they should get, like, a firing squad. And not a firing squad per se, but they should tie their limbs, like this, <laughs> 